Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Anon Jr. And uh, today, we'll pick up where we left off on Dantooine. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to finish up the last of the missions. We got a couple of side quests to finish up. Uh, one of them involving no small amount of drama. It, or at least that's the way it looks. And... Uh, and we should be off the planet by the end of the episode. So let's load this up. And if I remember right, at the end of last week, we went ahead, we talked to everybody, we found out everything we could from all the people. And over in our quest log, we got the... Sandral Matale feud that we're going to have to go take care of. We've got the ruins that we'll need to go investigate. That's our main quest line. Uh, we're probably going to end up talking to Bastila a few more times before the day is out. Uh, Karth, I'm not sure if we're going to deal with him. Mission's brother, we're probably not going to deal with until we get to uh, Tatooine. Kandros, we might end up talking to a little bit more. And the Mandalorian Raiders, we need to find the leader. So we're going to hunt around the fields for the leader and anything else that might help us with the feud. And we'll try to take care of the Mandalorians and the feud before we finish up with the ruins. Unless it starts getting close enough to the end of the day that, uh, or the end of the stream that we want to make that happen and get that done. So, with that summary out of the way, ooh, who do we want with us? Hmm. Let's take Bastila, because having a level 9 Jedi is always useful. And since we're looking at a fair amount of combat in our near future, or at least while we take out the Mandalorian, let's go ahead and take Candorus, because... Who doesn't want a big honkin' Mandalorian on their side when there's a fight about? Alright. Everybody's all set, geared up, and on we go. Let's go out to the fields and see what we can see. While I lament yet again the ability to uh, run slowly as we go. And those guys have told me everything they're going to tell me. He's the one who tells me we need to get rid of the Mandalorians. He's just going to sell us some stuff we don't need. And it's that way to the ruins, right? Yeah, the strange ruins. Let's go to this path to the south here. And uh, hopefully... Yeah, I was hoping we could hit these guys with a little bit of uh, XP farming. They don't drop much, but uh, the XP is always good. I was hoping for more. Oop, there we go. I guess that's the peril of having a primarily melee party. When the enemy chooses to run, you uh, end up having to chase him down. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have grabbed a couple of more range people. 
Oh, his health is still good. I'm looking forward. Everybody here? Alright. Don't make me pull this party over. Start off by clearing these guys out. Some light armor, a shield, always nice. Or Cassius's diary. Ooh. If you remember, Cassius was one of the kids in the family feud. So I have a funny feeling this diary is going to give us some useful information as to what's going on. Alright. This is the diary Cassius Sandral, amateur archaeologist. It is details his efforts to discover the source of the ancient ruins found across the surface of Dantooine. Upon reading it, you gather that he had found some correlation between the runes and something called the wreck. Well, isn't that delightfully vague? Alright, so we picked up a couple other things. That bumps con by one... Uh, what else do we pick? Yeah, that bumps count by one. That gives us a nice... Nice shield. Will and awareness. Okay. Oh, I've already got one of those headbands equipped. She does not, so let's go ahead and give her... Yeah, will and awareness, okay. What's he got? He's also got one of these equipped. Okay. Alright. Well, now we found out what the deal is with the first missing kid. So, let's see if we can get to the family estate, which I believe was over that way. And see if we can find out what happened to the other missing kid. We're also on the lookout for the Mandalorian leader. So he can... Let's see. That's to the south. That's to the south. Yeah, I think that's going to be in a different spot. Sure, why not? Let's get some XP. You go to this level of effort to kill a critter, and that's not dark side points. So, Bastila. 
Oops. I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. Oh. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcars to subdue me. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting this bickering. Um, yeah, let's what not get into this. Said? All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Ooh. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe That's if your fired. master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a No, I must not do this. Ooh. There is no emotion. Maybe this is not the party I want to keep peace. together. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. Well, okay then. I was not expecting that little bit. I know sometimes your your companions can, uh... Why, yes, Mr. Mike. This is uh, this series I'm doing is Games Revisited, where I take a look at some fun little classics like Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, we've been doing a pretty moderately paced playthrough. So, if you like the game, want to see how how we go down this route? Feel free to st stick along. We are uh, <laughs> we're about to get in the middle this of all the family right. drama. All right, I come on behalf of the council. I come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform I you does. that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my uh, son, Shen. Huh. All right. Uh, how do I want to play this? Yeah, let's see. Why are you so Many certain? years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled yeah, here, the droids the do look a little scary, arrived. don't they? and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandril droids trespassing on my land. Oh. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? <laughs> I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not so a single are you one the survived. Clampets? At least or the McCoys. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son Obviously. in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. really want to tell him he's jumping to conclusions. Actually, I really want to tell him where he can go jump. But, um, trying to play this as a relatively good character, so... The I'll only resolution the possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible... Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrils. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation uh, is completely up to you. <laughs> I 
Make it 2,000 in the Ava deal. Ooh, that's tempting. But no. Nevertheless, Playing my offer still good. stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find mm -hmm. Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Okay. So that happened. And I guess we're going to go head south now. Let's see what the McCoys... Or, sorry, the Hatfields and McCoys. Are they the Hatfields or are those the McCoys? That's the question. I thought I already looted this. Or are these going to stick around as long as... Uh, hang in there. Okay. Already looted it all. I mean, already recovered all items of value. And put them to good use. The group. Alright, where do we want to go? This goes further south, that goes north. There's the ancient grove. Just for kicks, let's see if uh, our Mandalorian friend is over by the grove. I don't think he's going to be there. He's probably going to end up at the ruins or somewhere where we least need him to be. Pinata. Oh, Alright, everybody is healed up, right? Well, before we enter this battle, let's do the smart thing and save the game. Yep. Episode 7. Okay. Here we go. Ah, so this is the meddler. <laughs> you have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your mm -hmm. head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. And that's why I've got one on backup. out from the smartly done save. Alright. Full on attack. 
definitely did not help. A little too straight away. So, let's try to cue things up a little bit better this time. Play things a little bit smarter. Ah, so this hmm. is the meddler. You have caused us far too much far trouble too much for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Alright, first thing is first. We'll toss a grenade at you. We'll get the shield going. Try to get you stunned. And we'll figure out where things go from there. to get you knocked out first and foremost. Points, so let's queue up another couple of power attacks. Actually, you know what? That's probably not going to help. Flurry would be nice, but I don't like the hit to AC that it takes, although he seems to be hitting me just, <laughs> just fine as it is. Lady. support with him. Let's get a med pack queued up. Nope, not power attack. Regular attack. That's gonna be... against him like that. I thought you were smart. Yes, he is. 
off on the regular attacks. Do a med pack. You back into your power blast on those guys there. Back off a little bit on that. Let's get a med pack in there. Savers. Ooh. I wonder if we got a no, lightsaber worth. Uh, oh, oh, that's empty. Okay. All right. So those guys are done. The battle is won. Let's go ahead and save that game. Okay. Because I don't want to have to do that again, especially not on air. All right. Force points back up. Yes? Right, that's better. You're not half dead. Now we've got to get to the Sandal Estate, which could be a little bit further to the south. It does mean that our Mandalorian quest is finished, so all we gotta do is finish up this family drama. All the side quests will be finished, and we can then get cracking on the main quest line. Alright. Top everybody's health off. There we go. Which shouldn't be an issue. I mean, this, this does seem to be a Talking heavy deal. This right. is private property. By Ooh, what authority are you trespassing on this estate? <laughs> I'm coming on behalf of the council. If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandals are not involved. This is mm -hmm. nothing but a Matale witch hunt. Cassius is dead. Then it is as we feared. You should speak to me like yourself. You will want to question you on the details of the son's death. Murad left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Mm -hmm. Go into the main hall. Murad will meet with you there. Alright. 
wonder if having a Mandalorian in tow is going to really help I have on this been one. informed by my protocol droid that you have news about my son Cassis. Um, yeah, let's lead off with that one. Cassis is dead. I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart, I knew it must be true. What, what yeah, happened to my son? <laughs> that is tempting. Cass is a Cathound chew toy. No, Cath I won't do that. I, I was so certain the Metali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Uh -huh. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please. The diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. <laughs> Make it two hundred. Nah. No reward. Mighty generous of you. A little too generous if you ask me. I thank you, you would for say this. That. The diary is all I have left of Should've my just son. Kept you for the we have part. nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Do you my name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. Yeah. Cassus is dead? It is as I feared. Though I'm relieved the Metales are not responsible. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. I you must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Uh oh What's my father happened? has kidnapped Shen Metale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. And he feels this is a way to get back at the Metales. A way to get even for the disappearance uh, okay. of my brother Cassus. Just I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. That. I'm afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. So why are you telling Shen me? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. Okay. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are so, Shen's only hope. To do the good thing on the quest. I'm gonna go bust in the back Shen door. And I, beat up all the security well, droids. We have been taught by our families to hate each other. Just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city. Uh, away from so his father. And, and we're Shen going, was uh, so charming. So Capulets. sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was. With no reservations. We talked and uh, met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too. And they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Help me, Jedi. You're my only hope. All right. Then I guess we're gonna go do the good thing and destroy private property after breaking and entering. And rest. Oh, there's the rescue in the prisoner part.
Let me do the smart thing. Save. Okay. Okay. Done. In through the back door. <laughs> oh, that that didn't take long at all. Alright, um uh, Are you the only you're the only Okay, good, 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 good. I hit you with a force whirlwind and then I will disable the mine. Get you to double down on the power blast. Let me get you. Oh, I hope you don't walk in front of that mine. Yeah. Huh? Oh, never mind. Not really an issue now, is it? And targeting computer. Shield level one, always nice. Oh. That that appears to be a rather small small corner. Boxes? Boxes? I mean, if I'm going to come in here and break and enter, I might as well burgle, too. No, it's not burgling anymore. This is a robbery. Alright. Let's slice the computer. Computer? You the north hallway. What do we got in the north hallway? A mine. I don't have enough spikes to do that. Okay. How about the south hallway? Okay. There's a droid there. Still don't have enough spikes to do that. The computer room. That's where we're at. Oh no, don't overload the computer. That's where we're standing. Alright, and central. Ooh. I do have enough spikes to do an overload, so let's go ahead and do that. Save us some trouble. Bam. Problem solved. Easy mode. Alright. And in the repair room. Okay. And I don't have enough spikes. And storage area. Okay. And I don't have enough spikes. I think I know what I need to go shopping for. Next chance I get. <laughs> Some computer spikes. Alright, so we got the parts. Yep. Yeah. Loot the body. Medium blade. Okay. And here's the question. Go down this way? Or go down the other way? Let's go this way. Oh, this is about to loop around, isn't it? Probably. Alright. So, nothing else on that side there. That's the door we came from. And behind this door... ...is a footlocker. No problem. Didn't, didn't work. Up, Skill too low. Uh, hmm. yeah. We can do it this way. Did I 
get rid of them? Yeah, I got rid of them. Okay. And in this room, we've got the control room. Which is where we got these guys. Light scan visor. the new items. Alright. So we got a couple of lightsabers, some grenades, light armor, light scan, visor, skill awareness, plus four. Oh. Okay. I was hoping that'd be better. Ooh. Sonic nullifiers. Feats required. Armor proficiency, light. Damage resistant. 10 versus Sonic. Oh, okay, okay. No, nope, that's more headgear. Oh, oh, that's the one I already looted. This is the one I need. And we get another response package. That's everything in there. What's in the large locker? Sonic rifle. Okay. And that's it for in there, right? We might come back through that way. First, let's finish checking the rest of the rooms on this hallway. And behind here is an empty room. And behind here is... Oh! Hello. Four scroll in here. Let's do this. Exactly one. Oh, repair part. Okay, yeah, that I can totally do. Uh, sure, let's put it in patrol mode. And. Target weaponry? Nah. Let's go ahead and leave it alone. Okay. Supposedly, that means that it'll go run around and help us out. Supposedly. Last time I spent parts on fixing one of those guys, it was less than helpful. Out of the way, Lee. There we go. Ooh. Prison key. That could be important. And... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, he's doing something useful. Let's go help him out real quick. Okay. Look at that. Who's actually helpful on patrol? the footlocker we just looted. That goes to some more stuff. Okay. Oh, let's go disable that mine. Come on, Butterfingers. be the main. Come on. Hey, when these guys get me stuck in I'm the corner here. somewhere. There we go. Yes? Ooh. We got a level. Not auto. Let's level up and 
We are keeping our computer use topped off. We are keeping our repair topped off. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and bump up the demolitions again. Okay. Ooh, immune to stun. Night sense. All right, we've taken the dueling up as far as it goes. Hmm. Je Advanced Jedi Defense is an option that gives a plus three bonus to all blaster bolt deflection rolls. All right. Uh, melee weapons we're not worried about. Lightsaber. We can get the weapons focus, which will give us a plus one on attack. We're looking at a plus three on defense or a plus uh, against blaster bolts. Uh, plus one on attack. We're not dealing with any of the blaster stuff. We could bump up our power attack, which has been useful. We could get level 3 implants, which we haven't run across yet, so I might hold that one off a little bit. And we could bump up the flurry, which is going to reduce our defense penalty. So we get an extra attack and we only suffer minus 1 to defense for during while we use it in 3 seconds after. Uh, we had started looking at the 2 weapon or 2 handed or double bladed fighting and didn't really work too much on it. That might have been the waste of a good feat. So let's go ahead and let us... Getting a lot of use out of Flurry. Now let's bump up the defense. Let's do the advanced Jedi defense. Okay. And for powers... We've got a few options. We can always do throw a lightsaber, which is always useful. Guaranteed damage. Not a whole lot, but guaranteed damage is always good. Uh, stay away, trying to stay away from the restricted by armor, though. And not doing the dark side. Not doing the dark side. This power can send a surge of energy. Okay, so we got stun droid, or... Stasis, which is the advanced stun. Stun's always good. Uh, universal power. The power shields the Jedi in the Force, absorbing the first 15 points of damage from sonic, fire, cold, and electrical. Damage over and above the first 15 points is suffered as normal. All right, so energy resistance is always good. Force resistance would be good if we were running into more Jedi, so I might pick that one later. Um, force Valor is always nice, but that's restricted by armor. Matter of fact, so is the force, resist uh, force resistance, but not the energy resistance. Not burst of speed. And we can't do heal until level 12. So it looks like those are our options. We can do the energy resistance, the uh, advanced stun, or the stun droid. We do seem to keep running into a fair number of droids, so stun droid would always be good. But, uh... Let's go ahead and do the uh, stasis. Add that one. Alright. Are you going to level up? Not yet. Are you going to level up? Not yet. Okay. That seems to be good for the moment. How you doing, Derp King 72 We are no going problem. through some classic games and rescuing this dude right here. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father?
Those are the tempting answers. Anyone tell you you ask too many questions, now sit down and shut up. That is very tempting, but I've been trying to play this character as a good character, so... I am rescue here to rescue me. you. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Doing pretty good so far. Alright, I'll protect it's you. It's not Let's my own go. safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the mm. fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to yes, release I me ever since I was captured. A if I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. On here. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. I wonder which character if I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will of. suffer. I cannot allow maybe that. Maybe I ought not think about that one too much. <laughs> Alright, alright. So... What if we take if her with us? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death right, than have her face Capulet her father's wrath because I escaped. Alright, um... Thank you. Yeah. I wish you luck. Yeah, cut that one a little shorter. And... Since we're here... Oh no, that's the way out. Where no problem. Was the door Didn't work. That had... No problem. Didn't work. Oh. I know what I need to do. I need to oh. Not available this time. Okay. Um there's another way into the door. <laughs> I do have a YouTube channel, Dirt King. It's where I upload all the archives for my live streams, and hopefully soon I'll be doing the uh, some produced videos for Coffee Craft, my Minecraft series that I've got going on Tuesday nights. Okay. No problem. Didn't uh -huh. work. No, skill too low. Come on. Awesome. All right, there's Shen. There's the doors. There's all the security stuff. I know I saw. I ran across somebody else in here a minute ago. There we go. What are you doing here? There you are. Have you what found are you doing Shen here? Yet? I'm trying to rescue him, but he won't leave Shen without you. Shen can be so you. stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die Lee, than leave I me assure alone you, to there face are no the security wrath of my father. droids wandering the halls. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okay. All right, uh, while we're at it, what's in the footlocker? Med pack and some credits. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's the one I fixed earlier. All right, Mr. Shen. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yep. She I pray she's not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Right. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you've done for us. <laughs> no, no problem. We know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral state undetected. Money does always help, but that is not the character I'm playing, so no but reward is necessary. We can... Surely we can get cut off awkwardly as the two families come. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! You, you had seems like something my out of the spaghetti You husband. had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started Maybe it. A fistful of I don't dollars. want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. <laughs> 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 
That is almost certainly some dark side points right there. Why don't you just shoot each other and get it over with? Hmm. Tempting. I don't know. Calm down. Please listen to him, Father. Even Why though should nobody I in the history of anything has ever All calmed down because somebody said calm down. Harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Oh, uh, why don't you try Our this Our children one? don't know enough no. of what's good for not. them to make a reasonable decision. It's There's better to let older, wiser heads like ours make the decision. Yeah. Rahage and I don't want you to About make decisions that wiser. for us. We want to live alone away from you. I'll give you the you. older. You, you insolent boy. If you want to live alone, then so be it. I disown you. Never set foot in my house again. I don't care. Rahage and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back yes, with me. Yes, because no, that father, works so I much won't. better than coming back. Rahasia, you will not leave with this, this Matale boy. I am, father, and you can't stop me. We're leaving for the Enclave. You foolish girl. Yeah. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahasia! Oh, no. We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away! It is your fault, Alan. You were always too violent for your own oh, good. Oh, he's Me? The one who's too you violent. were the one who rushed okay. out here with war droids! Oh, it is so tempting to just do the yell, shut up. Alright, where's the force calm down? Like, that should be an option, right? I got the force persuade. I should be able to, you know, force, calm down. I will not this is rest not the argument until I have my have. Shen back. The council will hear of the <laughs> troubles you cause, Jedi. Indeed they shall. Okay. Ooh. He got a level. I would have thought she did too. Oh no, she because she did too. Okay, let's level up. And she gets a whopping two skill points. Not a whole lot of class skills either. I guess we'll put that other one in awareness then. Sure. Alright, and she's already got Force Valor. Knight Valor increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by three points. And grants immunity to poison. That could be nice. So Fort Knight Valor is definitely on, on the table. Resistance is always on the table. So is energy resistance. Uh, <laughs> that's not usable by an NPC. That's not until level 15. That's not until level 12. Wound is a dark side power, so we're not going to do that. Slow is a dark side power, so we're not going to do that. Uh, we could upgrade her Force Push to Force Whirlwind, which is always good. Drain Life, yeah, no, not going to happen. Force Suppression. This ability will cancel the first and second tier Force Powers active on the target. Ooh. Hmm. That's tempting too, but again, we haven't run into too many Jedi yet. So let's see where that goes. Let's decide between either the Force Whirlwind or the Valor. Uh, she's mostly been doing the healing and the shielding and all the other that sort of supplementary stuff. So let's go ahead and get her the Knight Valor and bump up that end of things. And oh, oh, there he is. There's my dark little Mandalorian. 
with your one skill point. I will put in a treat injury. I really ought to dump some more skill points into my own treat injury too. I gotta remember that. Alright. You do not do two weapon fighting. You've got the heavy weapons. And your heavy weapons are maxed out. You cannot qualify for dueling and wield a heavy weapon, so there's not a good reason to do that. Not going to give you a melee weapon, not when you get the heavy weapons that far advanced. You could always do improved toughness. Uh, this feat subtracts two points from any damage suffered, so damage resistance two. For those familiar with the D&D background, that kind of informs the game. He's already got the power blast and the rapid shot cranked up. Um... Bumping up to at least a level 2 implant would be useful. This conditioning is not useful. Flurry is not useful. Critical strike. No, nope, that's the melee. There's a sniper strike in here somewhere. Sniper shot is an option. Two weapon fighting is not really an option. That's more the uh, melee stuff or two blasters. Again, not with the heavy weapons where it needs to be. So. We bump up the implant. Where do we get you improved toughness? I think we'll bump up the implant just because we're going to keep finding more of those things. And right now we've got all level 1 and level 2 stuff, so let's go ahead and add that level 2. Okay. Speaking of which... Ooh, stabilizer gauntlets. Oh, that's for demolitions. Alright, never mind. Uh, you get the neural band. There's a plus 2 to will. Plus 2 to awareness. Plus 4 to awareness. Damage resistance against Sonic. Is that better or worse than the plus two to will? Now let's leave the plus two to will for now. Ooh. Dexercon. Alright, your dex is 13. Con would be 14 naturally anyway. Yeah, bumping up Dex is going to be a little bit better for him. Let's do it. Well, that should have changed that plus one to a plus two, I would have thought. Huh. Which reminds me. He's got the strength bump. So... Do I give her the other decks or the constitution? Uh, increasing her decks isn't going to do anything meaningful. Increasing her con isn't going to do anything meaningful. So I guess for now, we'll go ahead and bump up her con. Oh, no, nope. she can't use them because she does not have the appropriate feet. Which is why she doesn't have one now. And we've already got the response package to bump up our decks. Which should still be the smart move. Yeah. Because that brings the decks up to 18, which gives us a plus 4. As much as I'd like a plus 1 to a con, that's not useful yet. Okay. So now that we got everybody leveled, now that we've got all the side quests handled, right? Uh, cause we've got... Uh, the Ebon Hawk is not what we need to worry about. Candorus is not what we need to worry about. Nor our missions brother, Karth, Bastila, the Mandalorian Raiders, we just gotta turn into John. And the Ruins. Alright. Then it's off to the Ruins we go. That should be back up to the north and east. A little bit of walking. A little bit of hiking. 
can we pass this one? Yeah. Do the next one. And the ruin should be from that path north there. Let's hoof it across the field. Might have been faster just to fast travel back to the Ebon Hawk and, uh, and go that way. Then we could have at least turned in the quest with John. But we can do that on the way as we walk back anyway. I mentioned it in a couple of the previous episodes. I reiterate again, there is a rumor going around that they might possibly be working on a Star Wars trilogy rooted in Knights of the Old Republic. I don't know if I am hopeful or scared with that information. Part of me is hopeful because it is, it is a good storyline. It is a good story to tell. Um, and it might be nice to get away from the more contentious places in uh, Star Wars World. Especially with the way the current trilogy has gone. Although JJ's got one more movie to try to save things. He might could do it. Although, um... J.J. Abrams has a great many strengths. Finishing things has not been one of them. At least not by the last couple of the series I've seen. Not by, not by some of the movies either, so... I don't know. We'll see how that goes. If the new... Star Wars trilogy that is based off of Knights of the Old Republic, assuming it is based off of Knights of the Old Republic, um, is to be done. It's probably going to be the trilogy that we know that we worked on in the um, Sorry, that, that part didn't make sense. <laughs> They've got the uh, pair of directors that worked on Game of Thrones to do an unnamed trilogy. So we'll see if that unnamed trilogy is the uh, Knights of the Old Republic trilogy. If it is, I am hopeful because they have shown a wonderful ability to work with existing material and make it, make it transfer to the big screen well. So... We're at the ruins. Let's see what's next. Dun dun dun. At the end of the ruins is a door. Is that all we got? No boxing? No boxes? Okay. Big ominous ruins. Big ominous door. And an ancient tree. No, we are. I think the droid yeah. is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. By the slaves of the villagers, huh? All right. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Sunkath? According to the builders, you said. Like the one who came before. 
for you, it sir. must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Who are you? Who, who? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't sing to you. Not till I get a few more lessons in. I am the urgency The bill was programmed to enforce discipline. Okay. Sir, should a builder return in search of the Star Forge? Uh, hmm. How long? Who are the builders? Well, let's start with how long. Ten revolutions in the system's outermost planet around the sun since the builders Ten left. revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some hmm. mistake. Well, thank you for sticking along. Have a good one. The uh, replay uploads are on my YouTube channel, and I have Mixer and Twitch keep them as long as they... Uh, as long as the platform will. So hopefully we'll see you next week. We do this every Thursday, 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern, U.S. Eastern. Enjoy. Builders of the masters of the galaxy, conquerors of all the rulers of the infinite These empire. builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's uh, no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy thank make you, no thank mention you. of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Could the builders refer to the Sith? Builders are the builders. A mysterious aliens. Infinite everlasting. Uh, about that everlasting part. I got some news for you. A few things have changed in the last few uh, millennia. Hmm. Alright, so now that we've spent this time chatting with the info booth at the Star Forge Memorial. What is the Star Forge? The glory of the builders. Apex of their infinite empire. You must be in Congress. You speak so vaguely. <laughs> I really want to go. You don't really know what it is, do you? Okay. Uh, could you be more specific? No. You cannot be specific. You can say the same thing again. Okay. Lower the villains. Apex of the The droid is obviously empire. not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Hmm. Though in fact, it could be anything. Might not Our have anything to do with clear. the Sith. We saw Revan and Malak speaking of the Star Forge. You do and have a point. Somehow connected to the Sith's Revan and Malak were power. here. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Tell me about the two that came before. Okay. They came here to find out about the Star Forge and prove themselves worthy. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Uh, did you kill him? No. Okay. So anybody unworthy dies. I think I just heard save after this conversation. 
Alright, how do I prove myself worthy? Curtain grounds, the east and the west, but then those who understand the will of the builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. Those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. And you can't tell me more. Revan and Malik unlocked the okay, sealed door useless. and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. Do we know that he's using the Starforge? We have to find a way to unseal though? these doors to learn more about been the Starforge. That a little unclear. The Republic is depending on us. Okay. All right. First things first. Loot the body. Sigil, crystal, and a robe, huh? Okay. Next. Save. Okay. Okay. Next, I guess we gotta prove ourselves worthy. So flurry it is. And some power blasts. An attempt to disable and flurries, huh? What can I do? Oh, here we go. points, aren't you? I might want to turn that off. That was not the button I wanted. That's the button I want. The force fights with me! Let's... seem to do wonders, so let's keep that up. Yes, I do. How do I get the feeling that didn't work? left for uh, another disable. Okay, good. Use him. And do you have enough for another cure? Yeah, because that's probably going to become important. Alright. Yes. Stun him! That does not look like stun droid. What? 
come down a little bit at a time. Oh, she's out of force points. Let's make this a quick. Those seem to go pretty quick, huh? Oh, hey, there we go. Gotcha. No, nothing in the remains. Okay. What's in the ancient terminal? All right. Ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. A screen flickers to life, and a stream of incomprehensible characters scrawls across it. <gasps> the Matrix. Actually, I'm trying to remember. Was this movie before or after The Matrix came out? Alright. Talk to the computer. Computer? Okay, that Star Wars... Or, yeah, that Star Trek movie is probably a little bit older than uh, anybody likely to hear. Alright. Uh, new option. Let's try that. Computer seems to be interfacing with your data pad, screen goes blank again, and then more familiar characters begin to appear. Uh, Alright, let's take that back. Nope, does not budge. Hello again. Okay. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. Oceanic. Oh, it's not barren. It's not desert. It's not volcanic. So I guess that leaves grassland and arboreal. Breaking life seal. Okay. What's in the wreckage? Ooh, yes please. I've got a friend who will love to have some of those upgrades. Alright, that puts us back at the top. Let me go ahead and do this. And go ahead and save. Okay. And what do we have behind door number two? More of the same. Cushion, frag, plasma, cryoban, adhesive, ionic. I guess I'm out of ion grenades. Huh? Alright, frag grenade works. And let's see if we can hit you up in a forest whirlwind and then flurry. And you're gonna go ahead and. What are the odds he can get another grenade off before anybody else gets up there? Not with my luck, so we'll go ahead and do the power attacks. And let's get you to hit everybody up with Valor. A disabled droid. Oh. Where's the Valor? There's the Valor. A flurry, a flurry, and we'll finish it up with a disabled droid. Oh! That's not good. Hmm. Alright, let's see... When's her disa- Alright, disabled did nothing. 
Let's try it again. Yes. Oh, well, that was depressingly quick. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get you stuck in a whirlwind until she gets back. All right. The valor. Let's try a couple of. Oh, not that many stuns. <laughs> Let's try a stun real quick. Oh. Yeah, can you get the stun in? Fine. And actually, I should probably get. Uh, okay, no, no, no. She, she's not worse for wear yet. Get him all your stuff. Oh. Okay. I guess we'll get a cure in there. Cured while she's frozen like that? Okay, good. No, oh, never mind. I was gonna have to try to stun him again. Okay, before you do anything else, you need to get a med pack. Then you need to try to stun a fool. Then you can go back to hitting him. Okay. Okay, let's get as far as the net back. Two Jedi, and we got nothing but a flurry of misses. All right, there we go. Bam! All right, he's got nothing. I don't see any other droids floating around here. So, what's in this ancient terminal? If passes prologue, I'll need to talk to him. Or it goes blank. Insert my data pad. Talk to him. There we go. Just like the last one. Alright. The three primary death giving seed worlds Desert, Volcanic, and Barren. This is the three not by the other side. Breaking the Death Seal. That was like the name of a metal band, Death Seal. Today, opening for Ozzy is Death Seal. No, breaking the Death Seal. <laughs> Alright, you're either you're building or slave. Prove yourself worthy. Oh. Okay. Alright. You're not going to say anything. Gotcha. Alright, 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 alright. So. 
And behind this door, I got nothing. And before I do anything else, save. Because I do not want to repeat that one again either. Uh oh. The cutscene. Something dramatic's about to happen. Especially with the slow walk. The slow walk of destiny. How many Bothans died so we can get this information? Oh wait, no, that's not till later. <laughs> this must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. Uh, jump into conclusions there, aren't you? A little bit. This must be where their journey down to the dark side began. Like, how do we know that didn't start before they got here? Like, this was the culmination of their journey down the dark side. Alright, uh, what are you talking about? This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigation okay. chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could use this map to follow All their right. path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. May? Yeah. What is the Star Forge? I don't know. Don't but know. Revan and Malak were very interested not. in finding it. It must be a tool of some type. Or maybe a weapon. Maybe the Perhaps council the council can, tell us, can tell us more. But I think this map might be the, the key first to finding everything, right? the Star Forge. Whatever it is. Right. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine. And here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates. Corrupted hmm. data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. Right. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. All right. Maybe if we find so we all the pieces four new lead places us to, the Star to go. Forge, Next steps and all that. Some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Alright. That's everything in here, right? We got our map. The temple looks a little worse for wear, but you know. I mean. What was it? 4,000? No, 20,000? 4,000 years? Uh, a lot of years. Alright. Onward and forward to the council. This is where I'd really normally like to jump and head over to um, the Evan Hawk and fast travel that way. But I also know that I want to go talk to uh, John Boy over there about the Mandalorian and turn that quest in. That way the only thing we have left to do is talk to the council. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh. Oh, hello. What the game is doing? He should. There we go. Everybody should now sure. be full health. And our force point should be replenished by the time we get to the council. I think we're pretty much at the end of uh, what we need to be here. Alright. Mr. Larp. What are you larping, good you sir? Yeah, you want the weaponry? Let's see what you are selling. Yeah, yeah. Best you can find anywhere in this world. Alright, um. 
Light repeating blaster. That's a heavy weapon. That does one to eight. I think I've already got better off of uh, off of what he's got. Yeah, I don't. What are you talking about the vest, man? All right, let's sell. This kit contains all the necessary parts for Droid to repair itself after being damaged in combat, including electrical regulators designed to isolate malfunctions. Uh, repair 35 vitality points plus intelligence plus three times the user skill and repair. Ooh. Okay. Security spike. Security spike tunneler. Computer spike is the item I need more of. Alright, we can... Sell the clothing. I'll hang on to the Jedi robes. I have not yet gotten around to checking out all the armor, but... We definitely don't need the double-bladed... ...sword. Yeah. Hang on to the lightsabers. Vigil crystal. Fiercely bright. Okay. Increases the damage. Always nice. We got a couple of color crystals, but, uh. Alright, we don't need the yellow crystal. Well, hey, ooh. You know what? We'll get rid of that. I'll hang on to those. Yeah, I'll hang on to that for a moment. Yeah, I'm almost at the point where I'm ready to start ditching stuff so I can clear up that But uh, I'll wait until I get a little more party members, but until I get a full party before I go any further. Alright, Mr. John. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've oh, killed you've someone, heard. they won't stop until oh, you've no, defeated their mind. leader. That's from you my last conversation. You must kill him, too. I fought Thank you, you, young master. My daughter can now... I think. Rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Ah, uh, there's no, no need. Please take it. Mm -mm. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the council of your great deed. Okay. If you, ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the thousand. I mean, you know, not supposed to be all material and all that, but uh. I'll take the thousand. Oh. How can I help? You look like something's bothering no, you. No, not bothering you. Not exactly. Mm. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Okay, um, sure. Please, I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are, well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. <laughs> Surely you can understand why. Purely Our fates academic. are strongly connected. Uh -huh. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. I really want to tease her about that some more, but I'm not sure that's going to help at... Nah, well... I was referring to the plan <laughs> we share. 
the one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured, I could come up with a much better approach than this. Okay. All right. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? <laughs> Sometimes they give you some wonderful sarcastic remarks. All right. I was a Good. scout. On which planet were you born? Okay. Excellent. Your current age is? <laughs> 3,012. Healthy living. No, I'm not going to do that. Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions right. helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. And what you were did honest, you find out? Which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to <laughs> absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Alright. Sweet. Conversation accomplished. And while I'm thinking about it, I don't think Candorus is the best person to have when I go to see the council. Let's remove you. Let's add you. Okay. Oh yeah. You haven't been leveled up since uh, we last did our thing, have you? So, let's level you up. You've got one skill point. We'll put in treat injury. Okay. Feats. We've maxed out the dual wielding. We've maxed out the armor. We've maxed out the power blast. We've almost maxed out the sniper, so that might be the next one. Because there's blaster rifles that we could get into, but that would take away from his two weapon. Uh, we could start down the flurry path. That could be useful. We're not going to do the dealing, dueling. We're not going to do the toughness. Yeah. Um, hmm. This feat quadruples the crit range. Okay. So, yeah, let's start down the rapid shot and start working on that end. Because he's at level 10. He's got a couple more feats to go. We should be able to finish the flurry in time. All right. Ooh, that reminds me. No, oh, he can't wear those. He's already good with those. Strength gauntlets. He doesn't have any demolition skills, so that's not worth doing. Got the heavy blaster and his own blaster. Fort reflex or fort. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and... I forgot to check. Damage resistance 5 versus bludgeoning. Hmm. That might be worth uh, switching over to a reflex. I'll have to think about that. Alright, to the council. Oop. Wrong door. Let's see if the council is going to be helpful. Oh, before we do that, let's run to the repair bench and see what we can get out of the lightsabers that we have. Alright. I have got the yellow lightsaber. The bond arc... Oh. Bond arc crystal... Has a chance to stun for two rounds. 
Or I can get an attack bonus one and a bonus 1d6 energy damage. And the Rubat Crystal, attack one, damage one. All right, that would actually be a decent upgrade for the Rubat Crystal because the Rubat Crystal is just generic plus one to attack, plus one to damage. This is going to give me the same plus one to attack and 1d6 energy damage. So at a minimum, I'm going to do the same as what I got. Although this is typed as energy damage, which means if somebody has some sort of resistance or shield against en energy damage, it will not do extra, whereas the Rubat Crystal will. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. This is the one that La Chica has, where she's got the Power Crystal. Oh, she's also got a Rubat Crystal. Oh. Okay. Let's see, did this have anything worth uh, borrowing? Alright, we'll put that in there for now. And we'll take this one. Hmm. We'll leave it red for now. Because I want to say this is where we pick up that person that we save later as a minion. And we'll give her that blue lightsaber if she doesn't already have one. And if she does, then we'll uh, sell off these other ones. Although I'll have to look at what the damage, uh, what the damage output is between uh, using the double-bladed saber or using two lightsabers for uh, misconnected bond. No, no. All right, we'll do the rest later. You have uh, returned, you have returned. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Yes, we found a star map, because I sure am not lying to the this council. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, okay. you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within uh. the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. You can tell me we what the, Jedi uh, no victory over the Sith will not is. come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Star Forge, but all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council oh. are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool. Still jumping to a little side. conclusion. I mean, the they could have fallen in the ruins and then sought it out. You four but, uh, planets. Okay. But it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. All right, so we got Find the four star maps on Kashyyyk, planets to check. Tatooine, now. Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. All right. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged Let's by this, this war, by defections to Malak's cause. And by Sith assassins. Yeah, yeah. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming That's your efforts to failure. Uh, sure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you. For there is a okay. powerful connection between you two. 
I kind of thought that was a given, that might but be the key we can go with it. To unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. Oh, After okay. long deliberation, so we now have her as we a have minion. granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are of course, arms. those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy We don't want to send a large company of Jedi, but here, take your, your ship success. full of... You will not be able to hide two, the fact three, that you are four, a Jedi. Five, nor should you. But the true nature of your five mission extras. must not reach Malak's ears. You may Six, return if you here count at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary mm. for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. All right. I you will can leave fail. whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. Mm -hmm. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is That's in your possible. hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with me, huh? Alright. Do any of you have anything to say? Greetings, other than what young you said? Padawan. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat doomed it. To repeat or it. so they or say. So they As say. chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I find your quest for knowledge admirable. But I do not want to overwhelm you with the long history of the Jedi Order. You should ponder the history of Revan. It contains... <laughs> this facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to the okay. pursuit of... You should ponder... May the force tell me anything new. I'm pretty sure those guys are not going to say anything new. All right. So now it's time to figure out where we're going from here. Is Jahani going to be waiting out here? Uh, that's the other lady. Right. Shen and Rahasia have maybe? been welcomed here in the compound for as long as they okay. wish to stay. I am glad that your help enabled them to remain together. Oh yeah, let me see if I can check in on them too. They're probably going to be back here this way. There's our resident card shark. Oh. I. Aren't you yes. just a sweet little droid? Yes, you are. Oh, thank oh. you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. Oh, it's just so good to have him. You want to know why this We're is so cringy and right weird? Home, right Watch now last and week's episode. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm going to hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never get away Although, ever again. Please kill me. I don't think I ever felt so bad for a droid before. <laughs> I am with you on that one. That was, oof, that was something. All right. I'm sorry we have nothing of value to give you as a reward. Our families have cut us off completely. Yeah, Had the council not taken us in, we would be foraging else. in the Why? wilderness Why to survive. Different? I'm just glad I could help. When I first met Shen, I feared our forbidden love was doomed to a tragic end. But thanks Almost to you like and the Jedi Council, our story ends in joy. Long ago and far away. Rahasia and I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. Now we will finally have a place to share our love, without fear of reprisals from our families. Just not too loud. The walls are thick. Alright, so what are your plans We'll stay now? here for the next little while. We're still hoping our parents will learn to set aside their differences and welcome <laughs> us back into their homes. Be if they do not, for a long way but perhaps we'll travel to Coruscant or to the Core Worlds and make our fortunes there. I wish you the best of luck, Shen. I hope you two find the happiness I once knew myself. That's not bitter and cynical. Alright. 
Let's get to the ship. Let's talk to all the minions just to make sure that they, there's no new conversations to be had. And, uh, and then we'll pick a planet. We got four contenders for the next place. I'm tempted. The first time I want the the first time I started thinking about going through, or the first time I started playing through some of this. Oh, <laughs> word if I may. Sorry, interrupting conversation is interrupting. Sending you on a mission to help us against Malik and the Seth. Wouldn't you like to know? Uh, how do you know? Okay. So you figured I got a task? How do you make that to the, the leap that it has anything to do with anything about Malik? <laughs> you say that. You might believe it, but I don't believe it. You might believe it. Whatever task the council is giving for you is not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions on the dark side. Uh, do tell, what could be more dangerous than the Sith? <laughs> Okay, so you're going to be the new historian. Come across tales of creatures that are born on the dark side. Monsters of pure evil. Oh, sorry. Evil. <laughs> okay. uh, the worst of the abominations is unpronounceable. A beast that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the force over time. Okay. Um, many Jedi have fallen to it. Um, so what makes it so dangerous? Uh, it's a predator in Jedi of the Prey. They are incredibly strong with primal cunning. They have an inborn resistance to the Force. Okay. They might have been bred by the Sith. Bred. <laughs> Only the dangerous and most darkest of places. One has not been seen in nearly 40 years. I only tell you this because you're about to see the first one in 40 years. <laughs> Alright, uh... You told me all that, so why are you worried about him now? Ah, uh, okay. This is not the first time they vanish for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. In other words, now. If your Malik's rise may have woken the creatures from the dormant state, once the Sith are beaten, I would not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. Hey, I know some Mandalorians interested in a great hunt. Might be useful. Just saying. Uh, can we find out more about the great hunt? Organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar the Jedi were scattered throughout, hoping to rebuild. Helping to rebuild. The Jedi vanished, despairing, without warning. We didn't know they'd been slain until the mutilated bodies began to be discovered. Council investigated, discovered the unpronounceable ones were behind the killing. Okay. Yes. What Until all the creatures have been slain, or almost all. Okay, so nobody went to Korriban. That is where Exar Kun was corrupted during the first Sith War. It's where Revan and Malak have probably been corrupted. Okay. officially over. 
Jedi chose to continue the hunt on their own word. Duran Okay. each other, they could resist temptations of carbon, so. What I'm hearing is there's three people who probably going to meet in Karaban, right? None of, oh, no, no, there are three survived. Their master felt them become one with the force when they left this world. Hmm. Okay. So I'm looking for three bodies while I'm over there. Gotcha. Uh, thanks for the warning. Do not underestimate them. So a little late demon? Is that what I'm hearing? Like, you know, crank that XP up to 20 and then give it a go. Alright, um... To the ship. Seriously, people. I, I, I'm... I was gonna talk to you when we got on the ship. Yes, what's right. in your mind? <laughs> You've been very quiet lately. Almost like you haven't been have in the party. Have I been parties. quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. <laughs> Ooh, poor baby. No. Uh, I'm not the one No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting oh, to irritate me. Okay. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. That is none of your concern, Karth. And you would do well to leave the matter be. Seriously. I respect you, Bastila, but you've been as closed-mouthed as the rest of the Council. If you won't talk to me, I then just want a part maybe party somebody else will. aren't going to, like, infight with each other. Uh... And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they don't they have to train you? I've done pretty well so far. No, no. Open what information. Bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. You know it's not I am normal. not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow minion. responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that is so tempting. That is so tempting. Because I am sick of listening to him rant. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you no, I don't. Needed? I didn't mean that you weren't wanted or that I want to go. It's just, damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much: I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. <sighs> I am sick of listening to this. I do want him to just shut up or leave, but that is not the kind of character I'm playing. So, I am not going to yeah, betray. We'll about that. I am not Look. Saul. I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. Dude. You're about to get a word for most useless whiny minion on the crew. And there are some contenders on here. Alright, so, let's make the rounds. Mission. Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh... Oh, while we're out, Sorry, can you make me a... I don't no. have one handy right now. Besides, we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading on them, is there? Yes, the, hey no, there. no, 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 you can, can never have too many you? security spikes. Alright, All anything I know new is about your I'd brother? Like to to you want to talk to him? If we have Zerker time, Corp rep I'd like to go Tatooine. talk to the Zerker Corp rep on Tatooine right. and see what he has to say about that where my brother is That does make Tatooine now. be a prime first place to go. 
because then we'd at least be able to have our chat with her brother. Yeah, what do you want? If he's there. Alright, um... You Any want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you. No, were I just type. don't want to have a Your conversation. Your stagnant in the republic has never else. seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the outer rim in those years, <laughs> and you never will now. Uh, where did we you were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small, mainly rocks, small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells. And the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal okay. generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The so asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen uh, gas. Oh. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. Hmm. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older Who's might have been inside form? that. Is there a Millennium Falcon? Oh wait, no. That's not for another 4,000 years. And what it happened It started next? rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Hmm. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't huh. catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything well, that wants to commit like suicide to in that like great that void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Hey, Warriors? don't worry. I think you've got enough there as okay, a real yeah. warrior knows. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Your choice. Not for now. I'm here if you want something done right. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see. What can we upgrade? Okay, so she's got her own, which has nothing extra. Means I can go to this one and get rid of that crystal. It won't let me get rid of that crystal. So I got two extra lightsabers that I can do something with. Alright. But now she's at least got one. 3 to 21, 3 to 22, 3 to 17. Hmm. Okay. And... Alright, nothing there on the repeating blaster. I really gotta get a stats pay. That's what I'm gonna do between this week, uh, between... When we finish today's stream and next week, I'm going to put together a quick stat sheet I can check maybe on a tablet and put it, you know, down. You don't see me pointing down here, uh, just off screen, so I can reference who's got what. So when I go shopping, it'll be a little bit easier to find uh, who's got what and what we still need. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to upgrade any more blasters. Uh, we've already got both of the melee upgraded. And... Both of the armor upgraded. Okay. Upgrades are done. And 
there's nothing in the engine room, but that's not there for nothing, so something's gonna happen sooner or later. Alright. Bunch of containers. Down this way is nobody, or at least nobody yet. of the rest of the crew right now. Beep, beep, beep. Yep. And you get a programming spike. Good boy. Alright, and what about you, Z? problem. We know he doesn't know anything about the planet. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Anything more to say? You know, I already liked it, but that's it. You don't trust me? Nope. Of course not. Okay. Nothing new. Gotcha. Alright. Nooblet in the corner. Okay. I feel I must apologize for the way I <laughs> acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. <laughs> Damn right, apologize. <laughs> oh, okay. I am no, sorry no, for no. attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Eh, don't oh, thank you. I will forgive you. It is most reassuring to know that you That's can forgive the character I'm playing even so though far. I try to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together I will succeed. Okay. That reminds me. Um she's got the regular robes with a defense bonus of one. Let's at least up her to the next set of robes. And she's got... Oh, okay, so she's already got a plus two on those. She's got the one saber. Which feats does she have? Alright, so she's got conditioning, she's got power attack, she's got blaster proficiency, she's got the usual knight sense and force jump, which means that she is definitely one of the knight force camouflage. Hmm. Probably not be seen. Alright. Does not require a stealth field generator to enter stealth mode. Good to know. Toughness, Jedi defense, melee weapons proficiency, lightsaber proficiency, and blaster pistol proficiency. Oh, okay, so we can we can build her up whichever way we need to. Cause it's mostly the force stuff and uh Alright. Gonna let me level her up. She's already level six. It should let me level her up. She is already high on the dex, low on the strength. Probably the next one I need to bump up that strength for the damage. And then maybe the charisma to get an extra, some extra force points. But I'll have to do that when it signals that it's ready for me to level her up, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's bump her reflexes. I won't put another sword in her hand until I know if I'm going to put her to the two-weapon fighting. Let's definitely get her an energy shield, though. 
And let's go ahead and do the melee shield as well. Doesn't do demolition, so we're not going to worry about that. Oh, she can't do that because of the weapons. The awareness really isn't going to help her. Uh, and she doesn't have the feet for those. So I guess that's as good as it gets, right? Although we did pick up a little bit of armor. Let's start back at the beginning. We know that I've got the fiber armor with a defense bonus of 7 and a max dex of 5. That's going to drop me down to 22. That's going to drop me to 26. That's going to drop me to 26 and 26. And yeah, not a bit of it's better than what I already got. Probably also equip an energy shield. I'm doing the dueling, so... Yeah, alright. That's about as good as it gets there. I've already checked all her stuff, so she's about as good as it gets there. He's got the battle armor. With a defense bonus of 8 and a max dex of 1. Light armor's a drop. The heavy combat armor's a drop. The military suit's a drop. The light battle armor brings him to... Wow. Okay. So the battle armor, heavy armor, going to do him about as well as the light battle armor because of the dex bonus. He still get, seems to be getting a plus 9 either way. Yeah. All right, then we'll leave him where he's at, because I don't think I got that many other people that can wear the heavy armor, so we might as well let that go for now. Karth is using Davik's war suit. It's probably about as good as it gets, because, yeah, everything else is going to be a drop. He can't wear the Jedi robes. All right. He's got her robes. She's got the Republic armor. Six plus four, Yeah, that's about as good as it gets. This dude. All right, I can bump his awareness, or I can get him weapons focus blaster pistol. Yeah, let's do that. There's nothing else in there. He's got the stun ray equipped. That's a defense bonus of four, of four, of four. Okay, I guess those are my choices. A defense bonus of four, four, or four. Hmm, I'll choose the four. And instead of the flamethrower, let's go ahead and get him a shield disruptor. I have a funny feeling that's going to come in handy. He's got the heavy blaster. We got a bunch of these energy shields, which is good. And he's got Bendex Blaster, which will be nice when I can upgrade it. Okay, we can bump his fort up. I really think that Bowcaster is going to be the best that he gets anyway. 3 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's as, that's as good as it gets. He's got the shields, he can't wear any armor, he can't put anything on his head. I could give him demolitions, but he doesn't do demolitions, so... Yeah, that's about as good as it gets for him. And I think that's everybody, right? Because that's me, I checked on her. Checked on him. 
Oh, oh, wait a second. I think I realized I forgot to give him an energy shield. Alright. Got her squared away, got her squared away, because she is doing the solo blaster. Okay. Everybody's about as well equipped as I can get them. Everybody's equipment's as good as it gets. Nobody's in here. Alright, let's talk to you two again, and then yes, what's in your we'll mind? blow this joint. Okay, you got, you got nothing more to say, Mr. Whiny Face. What about you? How can I help? What you got to say? I do. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep staring at me. See anything you You are like? easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever <laughs> met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. I oh. am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, <laughs> I mean, whatever I feel... Uh -huh. I mean, whatever I think about you... So you do have feelings. I, that is, you, why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi mm. Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel <laughs> some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. <laughs> that is tempting. I really would like to do the wise guy response, but that's not the character I've been playing. But I really do want to go, you could warn me when I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. Alright, what do you think I, I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. Yeah. But I okay. feel that won't be possible. Several Thankfully, years of training you've is not exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all I hope I can too. The game keeps side. offering me it's all sorts of options that I uh, would do otherwise. It's doubly important for you with your natural affinity for the Force. Um, hmm. That's good to hear. Without the proper training, however, I'm afraid you will find the path difficult even with the best of intentions. There's great danger ahead for both of us. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Uh oh. Aww. Yes, that is true. I will do my best to guide you, but I am no master. Not yet. And there are times when I find the sheer strength of your power almost overwhelming. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I would appreciate any I hope people I have the offer. wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. Okay. This means no more conversations, right? How can I help? We've, we've had all can the I conversations we're going to have. Okay, good. Just checking. few different options. We can go to... Oh yeah, that's right. Yavin was one of the places on... that was already programmed in, because we've got Tantooine, Orban, Manan, Tantooine where we're at, and Kashyyyk. Okay, so we got the four coordinates plus the whole Yavin thing that was already programmed in when we 
um, liberated the equipment. Alright, before I travel, let me go ahead and save. Okay. Let's check out that Yavin. What do we have there? And away we go. Are we going to do this animation every time we fly off? Because if we are, I'll try to skip it for you guys. Another cinematic? Oh, ominous things be happening. Dun, dun, Lord dun, Malik, dun, the Star dun, Forge dun, is dun. operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our Ooh. expectations. So he I has found the Star Forge. I am interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. Okay, so you now could say found I was his mentor. mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. <laughs> You. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi well, I didn't and exactly a warrior. Have a choice. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions and well are exaggerated nothing to me, if Kalo, the journal was anything to but say. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Dun dun dun. We're gonna have the other conversation? We're gonna hear the. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I hope it didn't just crash. Come on. Play nice, Star Wars. Thinking about something. Serious. Come on. You want to load? Oh. Come on. We got the audio. Um. Well. Since the game does not appear to be cooperating, we might have to call it early. I don't. Oh, no, there we go. Took a little while to get this thing going. There we go. Flying into Yevon. Wherever, whatever was going on here. This could have been a mistake. Guess we'll find out. Okay, there we go. Now we're back to business. Uh, do you know anything? How can I help? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. 
It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Uh, is it true? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Oh. Our mission her. was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon oh. Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. Good to know. True, I suppose. Expect? And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us. Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, <laughs> we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, you really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. That's good to know. How can I help? Yeah, it looks like we have a lot yes, of conversations. Yes, I suppose I can understand your guess. curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit about myself. Going on, I don't know about the bond. How did you join I was found to be then? strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't it sound can be so a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Mm, Very close. Was? I was only oh, a little girl Daddy's when I left girl. my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the So you can attempt to force choke your mother? Is that it? Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Well, good. That's all How I really I wanted. To... Okay. I wanted to see if you knew about this move. place, but apparently not. Yes, what's you? in your mind? Do you know anything about this place? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. You got it. Does nobody know anything about this place? Alright, uh... Ooh. Don't things not... Right. Okay. Something's not right with the supplies. What do you mean? Someone's been in the emergency stash of fire. Nobody knows anything about it. Okay then. Might want to check out the food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. Yeah, I'll have to add the cargo hold to my list. 
was trying to find out if anybody knew anything about this area, How but, uh... How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Fine, let's what talk now. That way you don't like bother me, me later. Are you doing alright? I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Um, uh, perhaps you just need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. It could work that way. I thank you <laughs> for your concern and your acceptance. That really didn't seem like the I right answer, but it was the least bad of all the options I had. Company and trust. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Uh, what fine. is it you would like to speak to me about? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Are you sure you would like to hear? I really want to just ask you if you knew anything about that play, um, about this place, but uh, yeah, well, let's continue. It goes back a number of years, back we on my home world. Ago. We did not back see Jedi very world. often, especially where I lived. Where did Behind you? Behind end of space, <laughs> a pit of a world. To be sure, where Jedi rarely tread, but we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. <laughs> Maybe I was one of those children. Uh, did you meet yes. a Jedi? Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination okay. had created them to be. Oh. I was old. Or not that old. Maybe a little enamored. So, what did you. Uh, enamored or what did you. Well, let's go with enamored. They were quite striking. Especially oh. the tales of their. That leader. kind of enamored. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi. To lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference, as the Jedi were. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child. But this child made it happen. As soon as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came. Although, perhaps I was not entirely ready for it. Or not completely suited to the task. Uh oh, careful with the self-recrimination. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is yeah, much we should sure do. Will. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Good to know. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? All of right, course. That's it. If there is anything else, I am here to help. Do you know anything about this place? That's what I want. There's something you want? Yes. Do you know anything about? Uh. You got nothing new to offer. All right. I'm not even gonna bother asking the droid. first. Yeah, what do you want? No. Nope. Your choice. I'm here. Alright, let's go check out those food stores. Strangely, that it has been disturbed. No one in the party would have done this, so there must be some... Of course. Because plot time. Examine the supplies. No half-eaten or torn packages. To indicate the theft was from pest or vermin, looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they have managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship. Okay, so we got us a stowaway. How about that obvious little compartment we found? No problem. Didn't work. No problem. 
It didn't work. Okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hear the tap tap tapping of various feet and things and nope. I was hoping Mission might be able to tell me something about the place while I go about. Footsteps behind you, eh? No problem. Didn't work. Footsteps. Something's going on in here. No problem. Didn't work. Yeah, I know. That's gonna keep being impossible, isn't it? Alright, so if it wasn't there, it wasn't there. Am I gonna hear the soft patter of footsteps behind me here? No. Am I behind you? Direction of the cargo hold. All right, back to the cargo hold then. Oh, hello there. Kipuna, bona na kichu. And where did you Selima come from? Wanga kun biking. Um, I don't understand Mucha what you're saying. Banga. I still don't understand you. She frowns and looks at you helplessly. Huh. No, she doesn't understand. Can you tell me your name? Puzzled. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun biking. Something, something Mandalorian. No. Doesn't understand. That doesn't understand. Uh, alright. non tontek. non tontek. non tontek. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kipuna, okay. bona na kichu. Uh -huh. Tong abuk shami no nok. Okay, this is your home. Mucha shaka panga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tonki ba non tontek. Tonki ba non tontek. Tonki ba non tontek. Tong abuk shami no nok. Tong abuk shami no nok. Donkey sure. ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun biking. You're hiding in the Okay, this is kind of frustrating. Alright. Uh. Don't abuk shami no nok. 
Mucha shaka paga. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipona, bona na kichu. Kipona, bona na kichu. Selima wanga kun bikin. Kipona, bona na kichu. I don't think that's it. Selima wanga kun bikin. Alright, uh huh. So we got a stowaway. Alright. She's probably the one that the Twilight on Terror on uh Dantooine was looking for. It is quarter till. Let's see if Mission knows anything about this place, hey and then I'll start thinking about you? it. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Have it your way. All right, we'll take care of her in a minute. Let's exit the Evan Hawk. Let's grab our Jedi and our other Jedi. Yeah, let's double down on the Jedi. And, oh, somebody just dinged, so let's go ahead and, that's ah, right, we gotta get her up to the level of the group, so, she's got two points, her awareness is already high, so we'll go ahead and dump that in a treat injury. Beats, she's not done dueling or the two weapon fighting. And she's only got the power attack, no flurry, right? Yeah, no flurry. So, here's the question. Do I want to take her up the two-weapon fighting? Or do I want to get her up the dueling? Dueling's going to increase attack and defense, whereas the two weapon is going to get another attack in at a penalty. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let, let's go ahead and get her up the two weapon. Okay. Powers. All right, she's already got the force aura. Yeah, because she's got the defensive powers, so it might be... Yeah, let's double down on the defensive powers. To make up for not doing the dueling. And we'll level up. Her okay, yeah, we're going to bump up her strength one, which will help with the damage. Do the skills, dump them into... Treat injury... And awareness? Okay. And let's get her... Force Valor. She's already got energy resistance. She's still got a couple of dark side powers. I'm not gonna not gonna mess too much with that. She's already got Throw Saver. She can't do the Whirlwind yet, or the Advanced Throw Saver. Can't do any of the Advanced Stuns yet. So, Cure or Valor? Let's do Cure. Oop, yeah, 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 yeah. Add Power. There we go. And now we're at a level 8. Wouldn't be bad to have. Eats. All right. The next level of two weapon fighting and powers. She's already got burst of speed. 
We can bump up the stun. We can bump up the whirlwind. Hmm. Or we're gonna have the stun druid. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna skip on the speed. Movement is double def. Okay, well, I don't know. Defense is increased by four, and one attack per round is gained. I hadn't really noticed that on this tree, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and accentuate the powers that she has. Skills. And powers. This time we'll go up for the stun. Alright. That brings her up to level 10. Should put her in line with everybody else we got on this shindig. Okay. Let's save the game. And that is where I'm going to call it for tonight. So I want to thank you all for joining in for this episode in Games Revisited. We had a fun time finishing up Dantooine, and although I think we got to return there one more time to take care of the girl. So we'll check out whatever is here on this station and then take care of that next week. We do this every Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Usually go two to three hours. I try to keep it as close to three because uh, doing this and getting a at least a peek at all the all the extra quests and information and all that without spending an overabundance of time seems to everybody seems to say that'll run up into the. Uh, 60 hours of gameplay so that means that if we do this for about three hours a week we should be able to finish it in 10 weeks no 20 weeks 20 weeks math hard to do this late at night so there that is we will do this again tomorrow or not tomorrow next week at 6 p.m tomorrow is the world of tanks stream that i do i jokingly call it the 47 percent because uh we help make the top half possible it is intended to be more of a guide and encouragement for the casual player somebody who would like to learn how to play and still have a meaningful impact in the game but not devote their life to learning the game you know, a, a chance to figure out some of the tips and shortcuts for for managing in the game and still having fun with it. And it's also going to be highly entertaining. I usually have a couple of friends that platoon with me while we play. And uh, it is definitely a kickback, even if you just run it in the background kind of stream. And as I mentioned earlier, on Tuesdays at 6 p.m., I do CoffeeCraft. That's my Minecraft stream that I do on the CoffeeCraft server, coffeecraft.us, for more information on that. And uh, all the archives for all my live streams are on my YouTube channel. Hopefully in the near future, I will have some produced content in there for CoffeeCraft and Minecraft in general and maybe even some clip shows for World of Tanks. Um, this, the Games Revisited part, doesn't really lend itself towards clipping. Uh, not, that I, not that I've really thought of so far. And um, although, who knows, that might change in the future too. I hope to see you again. Have fun. Enjoy. <laughs>